When you first install ShareScope, um, you initially run it, you'll get a very similar screen to what you see here. As you can see, there's a number of different panels, um, and one of the first things you want to do is probably mess around with it. But what we're going to do is initially just close a load of these panels and just leave one open, because it's quite cluttered here. Right, now looking here, this is a, a complete list of the FTSE 100 stocks. As you can see up here, there's a button that says FTSE 100, and by clicking on it, you get this list. Now, there are a number of preset lists, so I could click on indices, I could click on uh, LSE shares, which gives you all the shares in the FTSE, um, or just the FTSE 100. Or I could click here and click all, which is every single thing that's in ShareScope. Now, if you go here and scroll right to the bottom, as you can see, there's 85,780 individual instruments. That's a lot. So, you're probably going to want to say, well, initially having a look, you know, you'll scroll through the list and have a look, but then you're going to want to set up a little list of your own with just the items you want to deal with. So what we're going to do is create a portfolio. So if we go to the top of the uh, screen here, you'll see a button, and it says, when you put your mouse on it, select a portfolio. Click on that, and there's a couple of items already in there, but let's hit new portfolio, and we'll put in, we'll call it just for a moment, test. So put in test, say so OK. Now we get up a blank screen. Now we're ready for this portfolio to be able to put in what we want. So we either go to all, and you can scroll through this whole lot to find what you want, or you can just type in straight from your keyboard. So let's say I wanted something like um, the pound versus dollar. I just type in on my keyboard GBP, and you can see a list is already coming up over here, and U, and there you go, it's already there. So there's the pound dollar. Click on it, say OK. There it is. Now, if I right click on that now, I can then say add selected share to portfolio test. So click that. If you go back up to the portfolio now and look at it, there's the one item. Then you can go across now and find some other items you want. So other pound versus other items. So pound versus, oh, there's a New Zealand dollar. So if you right click on that and add that, same thing, add uh, pound Japanese yen. There's different uh, options. Um, there's the main, so right click on that, it's the main one, so click on that to add to portfolio. Um, what else can we use? Let's go and have a, an in, something in the indexes. So let's click indices, and we'll have a scour through this. Uh, oh, well, highlighted already the DAX, so if we right click on that and say add that to the portfolio. I mean, if we go up here again, you'll now see under the test is all the items we just added. Now you can go and create a, as big a list as you want. But if you want to go and look at everything we've got in the matrix add-on, and if you go up to your portfolio, click on that, you'll already find there's something called matrix. And if you click on that and say OK, there's a whole list of all the solutions we've already got for our item. And you can see there's a number of currencies, indices, um, there's also a couple of commodities like silver and gold as well. Very simple, you can create uh, in many portfolios as you want and many items as you like in it, and just by clicking here you just jump between them. So go back to our test one we created, there it is, or go back again to the matrix one, there it is. Very simple.